This video looks at how to differentiate the exponential function quickly and efficiently. Now there are two key facts before we do the main harder examples. Now the exponential graph is the graph such that if we differentiate then we get the same function. So if y equals e to the power of x the gradient at that value of x is the same. So that's the key fact. However, if there's a constant there, e to the ax, where a could be a number, 5, 7, 2.2, a negative number, then if we differentiate, now what the chain rule says is, is we differentiate e, which stays the same, However, we then times by the differential of the bit within the exponential. So we times by the a, because ax differentiates to just a. So if it's e to the power of the number x, it becomes the number, in this case a, e to the power of ax. It is worth knowing those two things. Now then, the three further examples then just utilise this principle, albeit with harder powers. Now then, these examples rely upon the fact that if we differentiate the exponential function, it stays the same. So e to the power of a, e to the power of x squared stays as e to the power of x squared. But what the chain rule says is we then multiply by the power differentiated. Well, x squared differentiates to 2x. So it's e to the x squared times 2x, which we often write as 2x e to the power of x squared. So the second one, remember the golden rule, we keep the e the same, and then times by the power part differentiated, or well 5x plus 2 differentiates just to 5. And again, that just equals 5e to 5x plus 2. And then on the third one, the 7 is just a constant. e stays the same. We then times by 4x cubed differentiated, which is 12x squared then times the 7 by the 12x squared, so 84x squared times by e to the 4x cubed. So golden rule, we keep the e the same and then times by the differential of the power. 